nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Well... We are getting ready to roll out of here So let's, uh... <clears throat> do our final step before we go let's roll a little bit backwards make sure our brakes are not locked or what you want to call brakes are not uh, take some uh, Barkley fluid or whatever they call it <clears throat> and I uh, drank some orange juice and stuff like that finally I was able to fall back asleep you know but, uh, definitely didn't have a good night's sleep that's for sure big day worth of miles to drive today we only have 395 miles so we, uh, we are pretty good in that department so I could have slept in a little longer than I actually did but uh, I figured well it uh, doesn't look like there is any big truck stops around Pittsburgh there uh, looks like there's a lot uh, a pilot there a few miles before them so uh, you know how pilots are they're very small so well I figured I'd try and get there early to make sure that I get me a parking spot you know Here we are, GPS says if I just go straight there, I should be there at uh, 2.30 this afternoon. Yeah. <clears throat> but it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. I don't see any clouds in the sky. Looks like the sun is starting to get ready to come up over there. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So let's get on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me today. It's going to be a better day tomorrow, I think. I think. Because if I stop early tonight, I'll probably go to bed real early. And I try and catch up on some of that sleep that I've been missing the last couple of days. Well, guys, we had decided to make a pit stop. Up here in Perrysburg, Ohio. I like this kind of this petrol here, you know. I kind of like this petrol here, so uh, I went and pulled her in over here. And if you guys uh, haven't noticed, I got me a haircut. <coughs> yeah, that's right. They do have a hair salon in here. She did a very good job, I think anyways. And then I went and took me a shower. And then I went and had me a bite to eat. Now we're ready to go. We're not in any hurry, we only got 226 miles to go. 
So we uh, we'll get back on the highway here in a minute, and then we'll uh, make our way slowly towards uh, Pittsburgh. That's right. <clears throat> First, we gotta get back on the interstate, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll see you guys all over there. Well, guys, we are just about to exit Ohio, so what that means is we gotta pay our toll. Well, I guess it's done electronically by uh, Easy Pass, and then we are gonna be entering uh, Pennsylvania here very shortly. And I've been kind of looking to see where I could actually park for the night after I get into Pennsylvania. It doesn't appear like there is too many places I can actually uh, park at, but I called my customer earlier and they said that I can park over there. But well, we got a phone call, so we'll be right back. Well, guys, here we are taking our exit actually, or we just did take our exit to go into our delivery place. So, uh, we got about five miles in total that we got to run here somehow and uh, it's your let's see if our GPS will bring us to the right the location. I see a semi truck in there so I guess that would be alright to park in there. But uh, yeah we got to go onto this road up here it's telling me. So, let's see, yeah, that's where it's telling us, Trucks 28, yeah. That's where we got to go. So hopefully we can find our location okay. I mean, I looked on Google and uh, also my GPS and streets and trips and everything is correct. But, uh, hey, you never know. Sometimes things change. But, uh... <clears throat> Let's see what happens, right? So they uh, said that I could park there overnight, so we'll see if that's the truth or not, or if they will actually allow me to do that, or, or if we gotta leave. Well, it would suck if I had to, but uh, we'll give it a shot anyways. See if they will allow me to park here. Of course, this light is going to turn red right away. Well, guys, we are still on the stretch to go to our delivery. And uh, look at these big rocks uh, or mountains or whatever you want to call it here to the right. Yeah, now we got to climb a hill. We only got two miles to go to our delivery. And then we'll be at our delivery. Yeah, that's quite a ways down over there. But anyways, just figured I would show you this little uh, hill up here that we gotta climb up here and make to make our delivery. I am finished for today. Yeah. Let me open the window here a little bit. Now I'm gonna try and show you a little bit. Well, it looks like we are here at the customer. Yeah, look at that. And then we got some... Uh, fresh snow and everything too so but yeah we'll see we didn't get unloaded just yet but uh, looks like they are on coffee break right now they just came out of the door so we don't want to show them to camera too much because uh, you know I don't want to get myself in trouble right but anyways <clears throat> I am getting ready to go to bed here pretty soon, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can get unloaded here right away first thing in the morning, tomorrow morning, so uh, we'll see. Hopefully we don't get too much snow either, and uh, I'm really hoping we'll get a reload, right? I mean, I still don't have a reload yet, so I know my phone is going nuts back there, but Oh well, we'll check it once we're done recording this clip, so uh, anyways, I think I'm going to get out of here, so thanks for watching today's vlog, and we will be back tomorrow. So have a good one everybody, and we'll catch you on the next one.
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come I'm breaking the wall 